In this video we will be taking a look at a GY6 starter solenoid. This is off of a 150cc engine. Other engine starting solenoid should resemble the one that you see here. Now if yours does look like this, which it should, then there is no reason to ever have to replace it. They are very easy to repair. There's only two things that can go wrong. Now the first thing that can go wrong is the possibility that between these two bolts where the contact is made, it's arced and the contacts are burned, no longer allowing current to flow between the two bolts. The other problem you may have is when you apply 12 volts to this connection, you don't hear any clicking, and that could be a problem with the winding for the solenoid. Now when you test this connector right here, between the two terminals that you see in there, you should get between 3 and 8 ohms, that's typical. If it's a little higher or a little lower, it should still be okay, but you should get somewhere within that range. Now to open this is very simple. There's three little tabs that are bent in, one there, one here, and another one over there. You're going to take a small screwdriver, insert it, and wiggle it, and pry. You want to make sure when you pry this out that it's as straight as possible, contouring to the curve of the steel can so the whole entire unit with the solenoid can slide out. Also, you're going to want to put the screwdriver here to spring open this clamp that's holding the wire and then lift the wire out of the way. Once this is out of position and these are released, you can then wiggle and open it up like you see there. That's the spring. Take that out like that. This is the solenoid coil right here. It has a bunch of wire wrapped around it, which appears to be around 20 gauge enamel wire. So when you take your resistance reading between here and there, you should get between the 3 and 8 or 10 ohm range. If you don't, then what you could do is you could unwind the coil, which is very easy to do, count how many turns to take all the wire off, and then wind on brand new enamel wire which is right around the same gauge, 20 gauge. Then you could solder it back and this will work perfectly fine, you'll have no issues. When you're done winding the wire onto the bobbin, just put some electrical tape around the outside. Now if this is not a problem and everything is working fine here and you apply voltage and you hear this right here be pulled down hard like that and click, then that would indicate that your contacts are burned or arced. Now right now with this not touching anything these two bolts have continuity between them current would be flowing and the reason for that is there's a little spring behind the centerpiece behind the square which is pushing the centerpiece down causing this to make contact as you can see it's going in and out right now push it in and out all right right now that's open right now the circuit's open and there's continuity open continuity so it's pushing this way with the spring but when no power is applied to this coil there's enough force on this spring right now when it's assembled pushing up to keep this open power is applied it pulls this all the way in allowing this spring here to push this forward to connect these two bolts together so if you were to test this right now there should be continuity between the two bolts on the back side if there isn't it's very simple to fix take off this nut and that nut on both sides and then you can slide the bolt in and pull them out and you can clean the contact surfaces with some 400 grit sandpaper more than likely you'll see it's arced and pitted get it nice and clean put everything back together make sure you don't lose the spring and you're good to go it's that simple to fix these so there's no reason to buy them if you enjoyed this video please rate it a thumbs up subscribe and post links to this video on other websites and blogs. Also be sure to check out my video playlists as well. Thank you for watching.